Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. A few different things I'm gonna throw in a video today. One, Brody got a package in the mail. I'm gonna put that over at the end of this video. Um, I have been working on a couple of knives and I do. I've got a couple cut out blades I've been fooling with. Uh, I'm, I'm trying though, I have got some of those band saw blades you see in this barrel over there that's on those saw mills. And I'm going to make, as thin, I'm going to make a fillet knife or attempt to. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how this steel is going to work out. Uh, but I have got a design with a scaler on the back of it. Uh, I thought this was something that I had kind of come up with. But I got to looking on eBay and I found there are some companies that make these hand fillet knives with a scaler on the back, which I, you know, would have really honestly blown my mind had there not already been some because it's too great of an idea. The thing that I want to do, and I've got a couple of new ways of filleting crappie by hand, which is gonna work for brim, a lot of the smaller fish that I'm gonna fillet with it. And I've, I've done done a few and I honestly think that I can take my fish knife and do the same thing. Uh, because it's the way I, I start at the top and cut from the fin down to the ribs and then you fillet over the ribs. You don't get bones in none of your meat. You get the meat that is off the ribs and there's a little thick strip right below the ribs. It allows you to get all that. But the next thing I thought of with this is you can scale that fish and then cut that fillet off and, and leave the skin on there without the scales because some fish, the skin has a lot of flavor in. There's some fish that I'm not crazy about skin. Like a bass, once I get over into warmer weather, that skin on a bass makes it taste terrible. If you fillet it out of that skin, it's a whole lot better for eating. And that is my opinion. That is not that, hey, everybody shouldn't eat the skin on bass. Some people like it, okay? Uh, and, and if you do, you need to eat it. I, I'm not saying you shouldn't. I just personally don't like it. It, it has a little stronger flavor. Um, so this this will work, you know, like crappie. I like the, some of the skin on them, especially in the cooler weather. But I think them and the brim are very good throughout the year, especially out of this running water down here in the swamp. Uh, and some of your more stagnant water, it's not as probably not as good. But what I want to do is be able to fillet, uh, scale that fish with one knife and then come up here and cut that fillet off, use one knife, do the whole thing, you're not swapping tools. And the fish knife will allow you to do that as well. Uh, you're just going to be swapping the blades within the knife, but no big deal. And that's something I'm going to experiment with. And we'll, we'll do a video on it when we get some fish caught. I would love to go fishing today. Storms rolling in this evening late and into tonight our tour con is way up around midnight tonight so we're gonna be in the middle of the night watching for tornadoes probably be a sleepless night um so i'm not gonna work on any of these knives i don't think in this video at least not right now uh i am going over here and we have already been doing this this morning we've already put the roof on my dad's building my sister and andrew is in and uh helping dad get his shooting building put together so i'm gonna throw a little footage of of walling it up we've already got the roof on i really couldn't film but y'all the wind out here is just howling so me filming very much outside is is non-existence not to mention we were in a hurry to get a lot done before and get the roof on before storms moved in fighting that insulation in the wind and also i didn't film any of that i'll get you a little look though at what's going on what we've built and uh and and let you see what's kind of going on with that um and there's just been some other projects going on i hadn't filmed as much here as of late uh just a lot going on we've been in and out and running pottery and such as that i refired a couple of my cups the fat bottom mugs i'll throw some clips of them in here let you see how they turned out after i refired them and i put them on facebook and instagram uh, in fact, I had some people want them, and, I, and one of them is a used mug. I may go ahead and sell it. I don't know. I don't need a whole pile of them. I, I kind of like it, but I'll be making some more in the future. Um, so I'm fixing to go over there and help them get through with that building. If we get... Okay, this is what I'm dealing with. See these lines come across like this? Now, y'all, the trolling motor is up right now, but it does this when it's down in the water. It started this while I was fishing the other day. 
so I, I don't really know exactly what. figured out there at some point. I don't know about that. Man. What? Are you going to be able to pull it over? Yeah. You may be shooting the camera. It ain't straight on the bottom. <laughs> it ain't straight on the bottom. The best way to do things is the way you like to do it. I don't like it straight on, crooked on the bottom. I <laughs> don't I knew I had to have one. Keela, what's wrong with that other one propped up over there? It's just a smidge too short. She cut it off three times and it's still too short. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, the wind is howling. Probably got a lot of racket, but we fixing to put these potatoes in the ground. Now this, you can see better, this is what we saved from last year. And of course, there's some right ones in there. You throw them over yonder like that. But you see there's a lot of these sprouted. Well, we fixing to see, I don't know if they'll still work burying them completely in the ground, but I cut them the other day and let them kind of harden off. I had some people talk about putting ashes and whatnot on them, but we just left them in here for three or four days and I don't think they'll rot now. I think they're good enough. So we got two rows here and we fix them to get this in the ground before it rains. I think we got some wonderful weather planned for tonight. Bro, do you know how to put them potatoes? Put the, the, the
is hope for this kind of stuff. If you're interested in a hoe like this, Mr. Tony Parker at Tortuga Forge up around Pontotoc, Mississippi can make you one like this. He's in the business of making hoes. Let me help Brody before he dumps these taters out. Yeah. What you fixing to do? They want all the potatoes. They want all the potatoes? They run out of potatoes. They run out of potatoes. Yeah. Well, let's... Now we're going to start right here and go that way with the other color. Oh. All right, well, come on, boy. What? Yeah. I don't know which color them are. Gonna wait till we get down to the end? If we can. We got that all done. Uh, if, seriously though, if you're interested in one of these hoes, get on my Facebook page and I try to tag Tony Parker in there. And uh, he's making some hoes and he does make them to sale. Uh, and I, I don't know how backed up his order is. I made this one, but I don't make them for other folks. So. Anyway, we've got these potatoes planted. We've done some odd and stuff today. I'm fixing to drop a clip of Brody opening some packages up. And, uh, but after. Y'all, we got a package right here, Brody does, from Miss Donna McSween. She likes to send Brody happy packages, and he's, we just got home from eating dinner at his Nana's, and he is ready to, what you finna do? Rip into it. Rip into it. Y'all, I, I didn't mention to y'all the other day, when we get ready to plant our potatoes, this is some of what we saved from last year. And y'all see, they are sprouted. So I'm going to plant these as well when I go to plant potatoes. And they sitting on this table in preparation of that. So you ready to open this? Yeah. All right. Well, keep your fingers back till I get the tape all cut. Okay. Oh. 
it ain't no telling what this boy's got now. Let me have that paper. Yeah. What is it? Well, what's in there? Mm -hmm. Let me see. This is the page. Okay. Well, it's well, got an envelope attached to the front. Look, oh, right here. Collapsible critter pen. It is a collapsible. See, it opens up. It's like a cricket cage yeah. that opens and closes. So ba basically, it is a cricket cage. Okay. Yeah. Let's open this one now. You got a card in. Yeah. Yeah. Your card look has big Easter wishes. Now this is his Easter basket. Hello, Brody. Hope that your Easter brings fun by the ton. Happy Easter, Miss Donna. <gasps> you tell her Happy Easter. What'd you get happy, there? Happy. You got Peeps. He got a thing of Peeps. What is Peeps? What is that? You don't know? It ain't candy? It is. It is. Look at that. Yeah. What is that? You don't know. <laughs> it's bubbles, son. It's bubbles. Oh, yeah, it is bubbles. Right. Mm -hmm. Bubbles! He got some flakers. He got some flakers. He got some flakers. wrapped it up so it didn't get broke in the shipping. See, look now. Bubbles. Yeah. Open it now and fill them. Yeah, we'll have them poured out of it. Hey. What's this? Oh, I don't rip this, okay? Don't rip it? No. I'm going to get this flower tomorrow. This flower thing tomorrow. You might need to, to put something in it. Roscoe. Where's Roscoe? Huh? Roscoe! Our friend Roscoe hath vanished upon us. Roscoe! I, I see him way down yonder. Now he's coming. What's that? Cars? Yeah. This is hand cream. Yeah. Banana custard. Bath and Body Works. I bet this wasn't yours. I bet this had Mama's name on it, didn't it? Oh. Did it have a have a tag on something? It's an A. I, I bet this. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Look, this had Mom on it, and you opened it up. What else was in it? Hey, look at me. What else is in this package? Where's the paper? Package. Yeah. That's anyway. <laughs> we got it straight out now. That ain't yours. <laughs> Whose yeah. name's on there? Whose name is on this? More candy. What is that? I figured it squeaked. Oh, it did squeak. I heard it squeak. I knew it was going to squeak. He left with it, son. He is gone. He cut out with that. Look at this. Look, Mom. Oh, he opened yours. Please. Look, this has your name on it. You didn't share with Roscoe. 
and oh. probably something else in there because the package was bigger than that, but I don't know what he done with Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Banana custard. Here, put the paper back in. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's just opening it. He ain't even looking at what it is. Jumbo fun stuff, find and color, and a whole bunch of robot stickers, and Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss coloring book. Y'all coloring books ain't oh, cheap you nowadays get either. Too? Yeah, he got colors. He needs to practice on that coloring business. We're trying to teach him to color in the line. Egg decoration kit. I think there's more stuff. No, I ain't more stuff in there. That's all of it. Look, we got stickers to put on our Easter eggs when we dye Easter eggs. Yeah. Yeah. We tell her thank you. Thank you, Miss Donna. <laughs> Way better on camera. You don't even know. <laughs> All Lando. right. Thank you, Miss Donna. We really appreciate it. Brody, Brody loves opening packages. He's been excited since he found out. Tell him where you went last night. Where? Where'd you go last night? Where'd Nana take you last night? That camera. Where'd you go? Rodeo. What'd they do with that rodeo? Rag bulls and cows. They rode bulls and cows? Yeah. They, they didn't ride no horses? Yeah, they rode horses. Did you wear your cowboy hat? He tried yeah. to wear the buffaloes. What else? And, buff and buffaloes. They had buffaloes. I had a goatee all day. <laughs> he was ready to go there. Mark Payton didn't know what happened to Roscoe. He jumped over your head. All right. Come in, boy. Come in, Andrew. Look, y'all, thank you for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.